more exciting, fats and lipids. So we're talking about more biomolecules here. The bi biomolecules are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids, including DNA or RNA. And so we need three of those, the carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids as part of a balanced diet. So now we're talking about fats and lipids. So lipids are pretty much, these are the only ones that are insoluble in water because they are mostly nonpolar. These have long hydrocarbon chains and hydrocarbons are nonpolar. They are soluble in nonpolar organic sol solvents. Um, so difference between fats and lipids. So fats, those are typically um, fatty acids plus glycerols. These are our triglycerides. And what and how those are made is we've got a glycerol molecule, which is actually, when we're looking at it, it's a sugar, right? It's got all these OH groups. It's got three carbons, three OH groups. And this is able to condense with fatty acids, which have long, typically even numbers of carbons, which would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 1, 22, um, that can be saturated. So when it, we say saturated, what that means is it's all single bonds. It's fully saturated. It has the most H possible. So we're talking saturation. We're talking about hydrogens. This means no double bonds. Um, this could also condense with something unsaturated. I'm sure you've heard of saturated and unsaturated fats. And so saturated fats could be cis fats or, I'm sorry, uh, trans fats or cis fats. There we go. So this would be considered unsaturated. It's going to have double bonds that can be cis, cis meaning the same, same side, or it could be trans, like those trans fats that we hear about where um, they're on different sides. Okay, or and so when we're making triglycerides for our fats, it could be all the same, it could be all different. Um, point is that we have three of them. I'm just drawing that like crazy. And what the fat would actually look like is it'll have these ester bonds with whatever was on there and this one had trans and cis bonds. So the only thing, the only difference between these is that we've lost a water molecule. So all these structures would be exactly the same here. So this would be a fat and um, the general term for all of these compounds is lipids. There's a whole bunch of different types of fatty acids. Um, fatty acids always, 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 always have this functional group on them, the carboxylic acid. So our monomer here is always going to have, so it's called a fatty acid. It's always going to have some carboxyl group, C double bond OOH. It's always going to have um, a hydrocarbon chain, hydrocarbon tail. So even though those oxygens are present and this part's really, really polar, the hydrocarbon tail really makes the whole molecule nonpolar because the majority of the molecule is nonpolar. Um, so let's talk quickly about the difference between fats and oils. So like when you're thinking oil, you might be thinking like olive oil, right, or vegetable oil. So these are typically liquid at room temperature, whereas fats that you're probably thinking like butter, those are typically solid at room temperature. So between these two, the liquid ones are going to be more branched 
They're going to have more branches. They're going to have more um, kinks in them, which makes them kind of spread out more. Some more double bonds. And these solid ones, these will typically have fewer double bonds. Well, that allows them to pack in and be really, really kind of dense. Okay, so functions of these in the body, these are used structurally because we find and we absolutely have to have these. Um, so let's talk about function really quick. Function of these, we absolutely have to have them in our cell membranes. These are the biomolecule that gives our cells a separation from inside and outside. It protects the cells completely. Every single cell has lipids in it, phospholipids specifically, that make up its cell membrane. These are extremely important. You absolutely have to have them. Our cells, because we're eukaryotes, also have membrane-bound organelles. Any membrane is going to have, have to be made from fats. Um, there are also, also certain fats um, that are used in our body, like steroids, or we also have fat-soluble vitamins. Those things are very, very important, and so they're going to be nonpolar. Okay, so we have to use them structurally for cell membranes. We can also use them because you have to eat them. We can also break them down in our cells for a good source of energy. So these would feed uh, right into the tricarboxylic acid cycle, if you're curious about that, um, and actually give you a bunch of energy per carbon molecule, actually a, ho a whole bunch. So that's why if you're trying to lose weight, you're probably trying to limit amounts of carbohydrates and lipids because they're a really, really fantastic source of energy. And if you consume more energy than you are using, that's when your body starts storing things in fat cells.